Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I am in Thailand in an area called Jom Tien, a bit south from Bangkok, about an hour and a half bus ride. And there are some really incredible beaches here. In my previous video I was in Pattaya, a bit more crazy. But here in Jom Tien it's quite calm and also I'm staying at this really nice apartment complex here with a bunch of swimming pools and also a decent apartment. So in this video I'm gonna show you a bit of what it's like to live here in this area of Thailand. We go into the grocery store, I'm gonna show you the apartment, the gym um, and also a restaurant, how much it costs to eat at the restaurant and uh, just a bit in general of what it's like to live here. So let's start out by jumping into the incredible swimming pool here on the first floor. So it's quite cool here actually at this apartment complex because the swimming pool goes all around the whole area. You can swim a whole lap, like no matter which building you live in. You can go out and then swim a lap and come back to the starting point. The swimming pool is really nice here and also as you could see in the drone shot there's another swimming pool on the third floor and that's also where the gym is. So here there are people from all over the world I think. Germany, the UK, United States. Not so much the United States because it's a bit far but um, a lot of people from the UK. <laughs> This apartment complex was a really good one and also with the gym in the center part of the building. Yeah, so we're done here at the swimming pool, so let's go and look at the apartment before we head out to the beach. So here is this apartment, $25 per night. I came in here the other day, so I have my computer there, kitchen, little balcony, and also here's the bedroom. Decent TV there, TV there, toilet here. So this is just $25 per night and uh, you can get something way way better if you uh, do like a monthly uh, rental like one month, two months, three months or six months. So I went to Facebook marketplace looking for apartments and found literally the exact same, not the same apartment but there are hundreds of these apartments in this apartment complex. Same place as where I'm staying and the price is 8,000 baht, 8,000 baht per month. It's $230 per month for this apartment. Like same place. But you, if you sign a lease, that's when you get it for $230 per month. So you find these deals on Facebook Marketplace and you see other things here, just like five, six hundred dollars you get like super nice places this what is this 12,000 baht that's like not even $300 look at this apartment yeah it's the same place just a bit bigger $300 but yeah really really uh, affordable living here in Thailand so I actually went to the grocery store the other day and uh, I'm gonna insert a few of those clips now so you can see how much the things cost at the grocery store uh, because I've been eating at restaurants every single day and I always start feeling so bad in my body when I eat at restaurants. Like a couple of days of restaurant food and my stomach feels... Uh, so it's better to buy your own groceries. So here is the front gate 
the good thing about uh, the places here, the, there's usually a security guard at every place you stay at. I'm gonna rent a motorbike here first, so we can get around. We're gonna see how much it costs. It says you can rent one here for rent. You can rent here. Go, go. So I just got a scooter here, uh, 250 baht per day. But if you do a monthly rental of a scooter, it will be way, way cheaper. Great, yeah. here at the grocery store and what you saw there was the bat bus you can go all the way from uh, Pattaya to John Pierre and back for like I think it's 10 baht Hi. here is the grocery store pasta 69 baht for 500 grams cabbage 30 baht, not that big of a cabbage actually. Two big carrots, 25 baht. Here we have a bit of chicken, uh, 0.3 kilos, so it's 91 baht per kilo. Milk, 97 baht for I think it's two liters, half a gallon. 34 baht for some beans. 35 baht for bell pepper. 48 baht for some more cabbage. 27 baht for three onions. Two cucumbers, 25 baht. One kilo rice, 35 baht. Noodles, 7 baht for one. I'm also buying a little food container here, a plastic container for 27 baht. In case I'm going out on an adventure, I want to bring some snacks. Let's see what else we're gonna buy. Hmm. Small bottle of olive oil, 15 baht. Sweet and sour sauce, 30 baht. Three tomatoes for 60 baht. Three bananas, 27 baht. Some kind of salted beans for 100 baht. So all this food I got was 881 baht. I would say in general, uh, when you eat at the restaurant, you can eat for about between 100 to 200 baht, depending on what you get. Like uh, the other days I've had uh, some chicken dish, chicken curry with some veggies and rice for like 130 baht or so. So $25 for this. I think the chicken was the cheapest actually. 33 baht only for one pretty decent size chicken. This is what I made from the groceries. Chicken, rice, veggies, all mixed together with the sweet and sour sauce. Now we're heading out with the scooter that I got the other day. I was staying a few minutes from the beach and was heading down to the coast in the area of Pratamnak and Jom Tien. I had been in this area before and this really nice beach. It's quite cool with the tall buildings right next to the water and still also nice greenery and a good vacation vibe.
So I'm here on the beach now. I was here the other day and the water was way more uh, blue and clear at that time. I think because uh, it's windy today. The other day there was no wind at all. That's usually how it is. It was perfectly green the other day. But uh, I don't know if I will go swimming, maybe. I'm gonna uh, take my scooter and then continue down the coast here. And uh, over to uh, an area called Yom Tien. I think this area is called Pratamnak. Pratamnak. It's just a bit outside of um, Pattaya that you can see over there. I'm just gonna lay down and fry a little bit before we go. So I'm heading out, uh, getting my scooter and going to the next beach up here along the coastline. Here by the way is a pretty cool restaurant I went to the other day, the Chocolate Factory. This restaurant has a really incredible view overlooking the beach and all the nice green areas. Here we go again, over to uh, Jom Tien. Jom Tien, let's go, my friends. I just realized that I forgot to put on the helmet. Don't know how, that's very important. So we don't get a skull fracture again. I had driven about 10 minutes down south to an area called Jom Tien and the beach keeps stretching further down and there are a lot of apartment complexes with condos as well as hotels along the whole way so I have arrived to Jom Tien this is the Jom Tien beach a bit more of a quiet area and also here you have these tall buildings where you can live for really cheap I think new modern buildings I must say, however, from what I've seen so far is that the very south part of Thailand seems to be a bit nicer than here. Um, by uh, Krabi and uh, Koh Lanta and outside there you also have the famous Pipi Island and a bunch of other famous islands. You have a bit of the tall limestone cliffs there also and a bit nicer water but I would think a bit more pricey in that area because a lot more tourists go there I believe and also in the Phuket area but Phuket is similar to Pattaya I would say a little bit more packed with people and as you can see and as you have been seeing in this video you can see here not nearly as many people or Hi. Hi. Uh, you have food here I came to a restaurant here and uh, ordered some food some uh, chicken and uh, veggies and rice and uh, Coke Zero. 60 baht only for the food and 40 for the Coke. Too cheap. Ooh, really spicy. Ooh. The food was too cheap almost. Like, really cheap. You can almost not make cheaper food if you buy groceries. Uh, but I do like to buy groceries because then I get it more like uh, not so much shit in the food. Here we go! I'm on the way again over to uh, where my friend lives in one of these tall buildings here. I just have to turn around. This was the Riviera Ocean Drive apartment condos. A really, really nice and new modern building. Here it is. Riviera. Hey, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's go for a walk. Once I checked out the beach over there, everything is like brand new. This building was really incredible with several swimming pools on different floors as well as super modern. Whoa, facilities. look at this. This is where he's staying. Really cool place. You can see the beach and stuff from here. Very nice. Very nice. Uh -huh. 
So you're about to do a workout, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> James, welcome to Pattaya. <laughs> it's nice uh, apartment building. Yeah, we were at the gym for a bit, uh, but I didn't film anything in there. I don't know why. But now we're about to jump in and cool off. Went to the gym here with these guys, and uh, I'm in the lobby now. This building looks like the entrance to like um, Louis Vuitton or Prada store. <laughs> it's exactly in this building, an apartment on Facebook Marketplace. Um, 16,000 baht in this exact building. That's $450. But there are also other ones. Here is another one, 12,000 baht for like a pretty big apartment really good where else in the world can you find the prices like these this is the John Tien night market we're gonna see if we can find some interesting stuff here maybe some Thai food and also with James and Will from Australia. <laughs> this night market was really cool. Full of people and hundreds of different stalls with anything you could imagine. From food to bags, hats, shoes and much more. Here they also had cups full of fruit that they would turn into a smoothie. Ginger, pineapple. Very good. Yeah. How much? 25 bucks. 25. <laughs> Very nice sushi. So that was quite cool to see this building here, but I'm heading back to where I'm staying. I'm back. Hopefully you'll learn a bit more about what it's like to stay in Thailand in Jong Tien and how much the things cost here. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be here for a few days and then maybe find a nice apartment somewhere to stay for a couple of months or maybe rent a house, we'll see. Actually, in the next video, I'm going to a five-star resort. So if you wanna see how much that costs, then please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. But thanks for watching and thumbs up for the video. Post a comment and don't forget to subscribe. But see you next time, my friends. See you next time.